Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to do a gaming performance comparison between the iPhone 7 Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. This is a strictly gaming performance video. If you want a full 7 Plus and Note 7 comparison, see the description for a link to a full video to see which one is the better phone, all things considered. So let's move on. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is to first launch four different games on each smartphone at the same time to observe game launch and load times. Now after we run the tests, we will conclude on which phone is better at gaming performance based on our observations. So let's dive right in. Here's a list of games we'll be using. We'll be using Real Racing 3, Dead Trigger 2, Modern Combat 5, and Epic Citadel. All right, so let's start off with Dead Trigger 2. Click at the same time, boom, iPhone 7 is in fact ready, Note 7 is loading, couple more seconds, and there we have it. Now let's click play at the same time to see which phone is ready first. Again, the iPhone 7 is pulling ahead as you can see, and the game is in fact ready to play after this introductory scene, but as you can see, the Note 7 is lagging behind at the game load as well. So both in launch and load, the iPhone 7 beats the Note 7. Let's move on to the next game. All right, so the next game we're going to do is Real Racing 3. So let's uh, tap on both of these uh, icons at the same time. And again, it seems that the iPhone is in the front, and it is in fact in the front. Um, let's see, okay, there we have it. So the game has already launched, and you can see the video playing and the Note 7 is lagging a little bit behind. So let's watch a little bit of this video. If you look at this video very carefully, the Real Racing 3 game also looks better on the iPhone. But we're not really worried about what game looks better or worse. We're just simply interested in the launch and load times. And it's very clear from watching this video that the iPhone 7 does have faster launch and load times. So let's move on to the next game and see what else we can do. Now let's do a launch on Modern Combat 5 and see which one launched quicker. Boom, there we go. iPhone was quicker and iPhone is playing a movie. Let me skip that. And even with the movie adding a couple of seconds of lag, it loaded before the Note 7, as you can see. The Note 7 is still loading the game and now it's ready. And when I tap to continue, that's when the game starts. But again, the iPhone 7 did have the lead in this graphic intensive game. All right, so let's uh, launch the Epic Citadel and then we're gonna move on to actual gameplay and see which one, which phone is smoother uh, for gameplay back. So the launch was quicker on the iPhone again and let's uh, click start to see what happens. They're both ready to start. So let's just tap on the screen, see what happens. Boom. Okay, so the load times was pretty similar, but the launch time again, not that it's a big deal, but it's faster on the iPhone to launch the games and also to load the games with the exception of this one game, but we still have a three to one ratio where the iPhone 7 wins. Now let's move on to some actual gameplay on the other two games. All right, so let's do a quick playthrough with the um, Dead Trigger 2 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. I'm using a wireless controller for this gameplay, so that's why you don't see my fingers on the screen. But let's look around the area, take a look at the graphics a little bit. Not too bad. This is not a smooth 60 frames per second gameplay. I can tell you that right now. There's a little stutter, a little lag, but it's still fully playable, but it's not 60 frames smooth playback, all right? Let's take a look. Let's run around a little bit. Get a good feel for the game. Go over there, get that water bottle for that survivor. There's the water and a dead person right next to it. Let's go back and give him the water. Or perhaps we should just kill him because he has turned into a zombie. Let's go. All right, so now they want us to crush his skull. Just do that. And he's gone. And here's a little cuts cut scene and they're gonna zoom in into that big monster over there. And uh, as it's zooming in, there are some frame rate stutters. So it was not a smooth 60 frames per second zoom in that I would actually expect from a game that looks this good and a game that plays in a high-end phone that I paid almost $800 for. Now, I know a lot of people are going to get pissed that I said that, but remember, this is only a gaming performance, okay? The Note 7 has other attributes 
that topple the iPhone 7, but when it comes to gaming, so far I'm not very impressed. So let's move on to the iPhone 7, see how that plays. Okay, so here's the uh, iPhone 7 playback, and right off the bat I see some water effects that I did not see on the uh, Note 7, and immediately I get the sense of that super smooth, non-laggy gameplay. Okay, now it's going to be a little hard for you guys to discern that watching the video, but you should take my word that it's actually much smoother, stutter-free, and possibly 60 frames per second super smooth playback. So let's go back go back to that, that water bottle, just grab that thing real quick. And if you look around, you'll see there's a little more liveliness to the graphics in the iPhone 7, at least for this game. Uh, let's go back and crush that guy's skull one more time. And uh, just look at the, the fire effects and then rewind the video and look at the one on the um, on the Note 7. So the, the graphics details are a little bit better. There's more effects and it's a smoother gameplay. Here's a zoom in. So it's zooming into that big monster and there's absolutely no lag. It was a smooth and stutter-free zoom. Okay, so let's uh, continue playing just a little bit more, a couple more seconds, just to look around, get a feel for it. And still, there has been no stutter. The game is very smooth and very stable, uh, much better than a Note 7. Again, if I pay this much money for a phone and I'm buying the phone for the purpose of gaming, which some people do, uh, this, this is the better choice. Now let's switch to Modern Combat 5, another graphic intensive game and see how that plays. And there we have it. So let's shoot these guys up. So far, the actual uh, frame rates are very smooth. I think this is 60 frames per second. We are in closed environment, so we'll see how it does when we go outside. Uh, at that explosion, there was a little drop in frame rate, but it's still very, very playable. Don't get me wrong in any way. Let's shoot this guy. As you can see, I'm not that great. I really don't care about the game itself. I just want to see how it plays, how's the, uh, the smoothness factor. Uh, let's let that guy go over there. Fantastic. Okay, so far so good. Very smooth uh, playback right now. I'd say this is 60 frames per second. There's no stutter so far. Let's bring him up and go out and see how it does when these windows open into that big environment. There we go. A little bit drop in frame rate already. Jump right over. Let's look around a little bit. Nice effects, nice graphics. But again, as soon as we came into this bigger environment, there was a little drop in the frame rate. And again, it's hard to discern that uh, through this video, but I'm telling you that's exactly what is happening. So the game is still fully playable. You know, a lot of us play games on PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and we play them at 30 frames per second. Uh, 60 frames per second is something we look for on the PC. But uh, in this game right now, there's drops here and there. Every now and then it's very smooth, and then it's not as smooth. Still very playable, like I said. But again, if I pay this much money for a game, uh, just for gaming, if I'm buying a phone just for gaming, I wouldn't buy the Note 7. Let's switch to the iPhone 7 and see how that fares for this graphic intensive game. And here's the iPhone of course, and I uh, just want to let you know that when we breached this door with these explosives and the door just exploded, there was no drop in the frame rates. So the game is running just consistently smooth as opposed to Note 7, which kind of stuttered a little bit when there was fire and explosion. In this area right here, both games play equally good. So right now on the Note 7 and on the iPhone 7, we're getting probably 60 frames per second because the gameplay is so smooth. But let's go to that window and see what happens when that environment gets revealed. So there we go. And so far, fantastic. There's no frame rate drops. It's still as smooth as butter. Let's look around, enjoy the graphics. Very good graphics. The graphics are good on the Note 7 as well, but it's just that the frame rate is not as stable. And again, like I said, it's going to be hard to discern it, but I'm playing the game and I'm letting you know that it's much smoother on this iPhone 7 than it's on the, um, on the Note 7. So let's kill these people and uh, let's cut the video off here and let's just uh, draw a conclusion really quick and talk about which phone is better for gaming. All right, so here's the conclusion. We did a launch test on all these games and the iPhone pulled ahead. It launched and loaded the games quicker than the Note 7. Now, that's not a big deal. I don't really care if the game was launched 0.5 seconds faster than the Note 7. What really matters is the actual gameplay. And in the gameplay department, the iPhone 7 
is simply more fluid and more stable and more smooth, especially when it comes to these high intensity graphic games. Now, low intensity graphic games, um, the Note 7 is just going to play them very, very smoothly as well. But anytime you want to enjoy high intensity graphic games, the iPhone 7 should be the phone that you want to be playing it on. So again, this is not a full comparison between the two phones. This is a gaming only comparison. If you're buying a phone exclusively for gaming, you should go with the iPhone. Now everything else like browsing the web, making phone calls, text messaging, that's all going to be great on either phone. But again, if you are going to be focused on gaming, the iPhone 7 is the better choice. But if you're not focused on gaming, if you're looking for productivity, uh, multitasking, then I urge that you watch my full comparison video. And in that video, we talk about everything else, not just gaming. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.